un hoff iawn o lyfra Sophie Kinsella oherwydd mae arddull hi o ysgrifennu yn ef i chwerthu'n ymhenni off. Mae gen ni gymeriadau gwych a stori sy'n neud chi isio cario ymlaen i darllen. Tydw i ddim yn un o'r rhain sy'n darllen yn reolaidd yn anffodus, ond os dwi'n teimlo fel mod i am ail ddechra, dwi bob tro yn ddechra gyda un o'i llyfra hi, oherwydd maen nhw mor hawdd i ddechra a dwi'n isio cario ymlaen, a mae hynna wedyn yn rhoi dy'r hyder i mi i fynd at llyfra eraill. Felly, fys yn un annog i chi i ffeindio llyfr bach i ddechra. Peidiwch o mynd am y pethau mawr yma, darganfyddwch llyfr lle chi yn mwy na hapus i ail ddarllen, oherwydd mae hynna yn wybodd da. Hefyd, mi fyswn ni yn licio darganfod llyfr Cymraeg sydd o'r un natsyr a pethau Sophie Kinsella. Wybodd doniol, byr, cymeriadau difyr, felly os ydych chi'n gwybod am lyfr, gadewch chi'n ei wybod. Does gen i ddim hoff lyfr penodol, ond fe hoff fwy dirio'n Cymraeg i ddim i Hangel Morgan a Llwydowen. Mae Llwydowen yn sgwennu'n fel a cyffroes iawn, ym thrillers, fath o'r yn yma, taffia. Ac mae darllen i'n fel a fo'n gallu bod fath o gwylio ffilm thriller o Hollywood, ond yn Gymraeg, ym Nghymru, sy'n gret. Dylan i'r byddio maen o lot o regi ac iaith yn addas. Yn Saesnag, un o'r nofelau gora, dwi wedi darllen yn y blynyddoedd dwytha, ydy... A Little Life gan Hania Iana Gihara. Mae'n stori dywyll iawn, a mae'n dylio fel ot a themau eiddfed ac anodd. Um, mae ma hefyd dros 800 o diddolena, ond o erth pob tyd alan. I fi, mae darllen yn bwysig am nifer o anodd o'r syma. Um, pethau amlwg, pethau gallu gwella sgiliau iaith, sillafu, um, gwella geirfa, um, disgeirfa. Bwysig gallu darllen er mwyn gallu... Um, Mynd o gwmpas y gymdeithas o ddydd i ddydd darllen cyfarwyddiadau, darllen ar wyddio. Mae'n ar y syma eraill hefyd. Mae darllen yn bwysig i blant o bobl ifanc yn enwedig er mwyn i dysgu nhw am y byd, gwahanol sefyllfaedd, gwahanol ddiwylliannau, gwahanol bobl, sydd yn y pendrawn gwella i ddeall dwriaeth nhw o'r byd ac o'r holl gwahanol bobl sy'n byw yn ni. There are so many books I have read and loved, but one of my favourites is Don Beanson by Charles Dickens. He's a brilliant storyteller, he creates interesting settings and really vivid characters. And as you continue to read, you feel as if you know his characters and care what happens to them. His books are about ordinary people, not rich people or titled people. Uh, so at the same time, we learn about the way ordinary people live and the challenges they face every day. It was also a time of great change. The spread of the railways transformed how people travelled and communicated with each other and railways and trains play an important part in Dombey and Son. Mr Dombey is a wealthy owner of a shipping company and is a man who rarely shows any emotion. But when his son Paul is born, he's absolutely thrilled to bits. And the fact that his wife dies during childbirth doesn't seem to bother him very much. Uh, he already has a daughter called Florence, but he couldn't care less about her because she's only a girl. Uh, Paul is a sick and weakly child who's devoted to his sister but unfortunately he dies when he's six years old. But his father is determined to have a son, so he goes about finding a new wife and he eventually marries Edith, a cold and beautiful woman. Well, he buys her in a way because she and her mother are so poor. Throw in a series of fascinating secondary characters, lots of interesting events, and I promise you, you will laugh and cry and read the last three or four pages very slowly because you can't bear to say goodbye to Florence and her family. Now, why should you read? Well, the more you read, the more things you will know. So reading increases your intelligence and sitting down reading a book means you have to focus and concentrate. And if you do that on a regular basis, you will strengthen your attention span. But more important than any other reason, you should read for entertainment. There are books out there to suit everyone. Books to suit your age, to capture imagination, and it doesn't matter what your age or your interests are, you will definitely find a book that you will like if you try hard enough. In our Llyfra Diddorol, dwi'n bod yn darllen y ddiweddar ydy The Chamber gan John Grisham, um, a hon yn nofal sy'n dilyn bywyd dyn ar death row yn America. Uh, mae Uero yn darganfod na'i daid o ydy'r dyn yma, a gan fod y grantsyn yn loer, mae o'n datsu trio achub bywyd i daid o. Um, Mae hyn yn golygu, ydyr achub yw'n i hanes, bywyd y dyn ma sydd ar death row, felly mae hyn yn dod allawer, o bethau i'r chyll i fyny sydd wedi bod yn digwydd yn y gorffennol. 
Um, I started the Cali Gossard in the 1960s. I was a lot of so I'm Hilly Guys at Klu Klux Klan and it's a very much my story of Natalie or Dressed. Um, and man, I went on now that in a river, my my pizza will hit witty board and dig with in America in a Gorfinal. A pizza will hit in Denny via Slavra, do in Munhai, Slavra, said Eva Ilven, or we're on now that in a doing like your discam hannes, um, a discam with a city board and dig with Dross the beard in a Gorfinal. When I was younger, my favourite books were definitely the Harry Potter books. Um, I absolutely loved them and I still do. They're probably still my favourite books if I'm honest. But today I thought I'd talk about a different book, which is A Thousand Splendid Sons, uh, which was written by Khaled Husseini. Um, it's about a woman called Marion living in Afghanistan when the Taliban regime, um, an extreme religious group, had taken over the country and were making the lives of people in that country absolutely miserable. Um, women in particular were treated extremely poorly and we see this through the character of Marion in the book who suffers dreadful abuse at the hands of the Taliban um, and her life, um, you know, throughout her life she struggles against all the challenges that she faces because of them. Um, now I won't, you know, ruin the ending and tell you exactly what happens in the story um, but let's just say it's not an easy read. There are a lot of difficult themes that come up um, in it but it's a book that really stayed with me and made me really think about, you know, my life and how lucky I am to live in a country like this where I'm free to make, you know, my own choices and to do as I want and lead the life that I want to lead. Um, in comparison to, you know, Marianne living in Afghanistan with so few rights. Um, so and it really it sums up why I think reading is so important and um, not just because of all the educational benefits that you know us teachers go on about all the time but because it can transport you to places that you've never been and are probably not likely to ever go and it can make you think about things that you've not really thought about properly before um all I knew about Afghanistan was from what I'd seen on the tv and from the you know the news stories about the Taliban I didn't know about the average person living in Afghanistan and what life was really like for them and so it taught me a lot and made me see things from a different point of view and um, from a different perspective and reading can really do that it can make you see the world in a different light um, and that is why I think it's important that all of you go out and read as many books as you can. Ac erbyn hyn, dwi'n darllen o'i ymhlan ti cyn mynd i'r gwely. Dwi am ymweld o'n bwysig fod plant yn cael clywed stori bob dydd ac yn darllen bob dydd. Fy hoff lefr. Does gynnau mi'n mae gen dibynnu beth dwi'n siar y pryd? Fy hoff, awdur. Wel, mae'r rhaid wedi newid dros y blynydd oedd, ond dewi prysor. Dwi'n ddwen. Yep, definitely. Sex, drugs and rock and roll. Uh, Chi'n bach o Pulp Fiction efo Ian Rankin a uh, Inspector John Rebus. Byd dwi'n darllen ar hyn o bryd? Llyfr hanesyddol am um, fywyd i Olo Morganog. Byd dwi'n bod darllen ar sigau mlynedd? Er mwyn trio gwneud synwyr o'r creigiau o dan yn rhaid. A dyma be fydda i'n darllen nesa. Uh, awdur o Norwy yw Pulp Fiction Detective Novel arall. Dwi'n ddim switch off oedd i fyddai ddydd. Y llyfr dwi wedi ddewis ydy y gwylliaid gyn bethan gwanas. A gostach chi'n hoffi y ffilmiau Back to the Future ag yn y blaen yn ansicr hwn ydy'r llyfr, llyfr i chi. Dim Car coch sy'n mynd i chi o ein cynnod i llall, ond cleddyf. Ac mae'r ddau brif gymeriad rhys a mari yn teithio drwy amser i helpu y uh, criw yma bobl, sef gwylliaid cochion mawddwy. Mae nhw'n cael eu hambygio ac yn cael eu crogi uh, gyn uh, rawdurdoda, ac mae rhys a mari yn helpu nhw i oresgu neu problema. Mae'r plot yn cychwyn yn sydyn ac yn debyg iawn i heno, mae'n storm, o eira tu allan, ac mae'r uh, llyfr yn mynd ymlaen o'i yn digwyddiad i'r llall yn eithaf cyflym. Um, dwi'n mond wedi cyrraedd tu dalen 25, felly dim spoilers, plîs. I'm here to tell you about my favourite book, An Astronaut's Guide to Life on Earth, 
by Chris Hatfield. Chris Hatfield is a retired Canadian astronaut and was the first Canadian to ever walk in space. Perhaps what he's most famous for is his zero gravity version of Space Oddity by David Bowie, which has over 35 million views on YouTube. As well as telling us about his International Space Station karaoke, Chris Hatfield also gives us an honest account of the difficulties and the excitement that is involved in becoming an astronaut. From the relentless preparation and danger to the difficulties of eating jam in space. Hartfield offers a personal insight into what the space programme involves. So why did I choose this book? As well as teaching me fascinating things like how to break into an international space station using only a pen knife, Hartfield also made me think about the way I deal with problems and inspired me to live my best life. As well as inspiring me to live my life to the fullest, this book also took me to corners of the universe I never thought to see, all for the comfort of my own bed. And that's why reading is so amazing. If you'd like to find out more about Chris Hatfield or see some cool pictures of space, then follow him on Instagram at callchrishatfield. So, whether you're a bedding astronaut or not, or you'd like to find out, what Chris Hatfield does when a bee gets stuck behind his visor while he's flying a fighter jet. Then give this book a go. I would highly recommend it. And I'm Boro Eira. Did you go to see Yeah, we Boro da. Can we find a chance to unite in Eira? Do you think that you are certain palavra to lick you? Right. Palanitia. I think Peto are right, even he only a little darchan and all that way. Um, and come on, I can score the crown. I think he's got a envy and see snack. Um, well, Lord of the Rings, um, Roots, um, Paul Dag, for Martha Bitha. Um, I'll say any good kinder films that I can, of course. Um, but he. Um, so in the day, the latter two and Rowan, the Pandora and Gulliach, you can cover a rhyn o bryd i ddarllen llawer, ond dwi'n trio bob nos i'n mynd i gweli. Jyst i chi gael gwybod, yn dde. Um, right, ond, ie, um, yeah, dwi'n ddim oedd fod ddarllen. A peth gorau un am ddarllen ydy, pan ddech chi wedi ddarllen y llyfr, a wedyn ddech chi fi'n draw i weld y ffilm, os oes yna ffilm yn cael ei wneud, ddech chi fi'n ddech chi'n, o oh, wow, ie, yeah, falon ni wedi ddech mygu fo. Ond mae'r ddarllen y llyfr o well yn y watcher ffilm. Ok, mae'n totally gwir. Iawn, mwynhewch y ddarllen, a cario'ch ymlaen. Mm.